Welcome fellow Arcadians and Richard Enthusiasts, you are watching the Evercade Effect, and I am Richard Kildishnein! Yeah, so today I got a great show for you. <gasps> We're gonna cover, woo, Gale Co. Arcade Collection 2, still sealed! So you're gonna wanna stick around. We're gonna open this bad boy up, we're gonna look at all the goodies inside, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a first look at the game, and you're gonna see some gameplay, my reactions, and all that. I can't wait. Yeah! I'm Warren Davis, and you're watching The Evercade Effect. Evercade Effect. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I finally got this open. Okay. What do we have inside? And I'm not really surprised. I mean, this was in the Jalco Collection 1, so we have a... Check it out. Oh, two cards. <laughs> I was going to say that this felt a little bit thick. All right, so check it out. Hold this up here. Whoop. You can flip them over. And again, here's the second one. Whoop. All right. And of course, oh, we've got our court. Can't wait to try that out. And then last, we have the instruction booklet that I'm not going to read because I just want to dive into it. All right, so let's go ahead and play some arcade games. Yeah! All right, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, I also do have a uh, Galico Arcade Collection 1 loaded in here, and there's a secret unlock game. And after we go through all six of these games here, we're going to go to that. And you know what? There may not be as many arcade games on here as a Galico Collection. Technically, with the unlock, it's seven, but that's fine. It is quality over quantity as i've always said so big karnak and where would ever happen to little karnak so this game this looks nuts i've been dying to play this so let's take a look here we have our simple attack jump okay good enough and uh big karnak is a horizontally scrolling platform action game for one or two players simultaneously cast in the role of the brave pharaoh warrior you must defeat the egyptian gods horus nut yes nut <laughs> isis and Orisis in order to rescue your wife from a fate worse than sand in your crevices. Jeez. History. Big Karnak is one of uh, Gale Co.'s earliest games, and despite one of their well one of their most well-known two. Um pfft, sorry. Despite being set in Egypt, you'll notice a few antagonistic enemies over the course of the adventure. These were one of the games, yada 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 mix. Okay, whatever. Uh, what's Katie say? Hopping up onto those ledges in the background can sometimes save you a lot of hassle. Hold down the D-pad and press A to do that. Hold down and press A to jump out to Alright. Let's do it. Yeah. Also, too, if you wonder why I stumble over some of that stuff, I don't have my glasses on. I probably should. <laughs> I can still read, but not as good. Insert coins. And I believe, too, this was the game... A crow bought up on one of the Evercasts that until recently this game really wasn't a, you know able to be played and emulated well. So. Oh no! This is awesome! This is so much fun! Jump! Thing throwing turds at me. Boop, 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 boop. Ow. What? That deals an ungodly amount of damage. Throwing coconuts. Can I whack him? What? Alright. Nope. Can't jump up there. Jeez! This is what save states are for. Oh! Oh! Up. What the heck? Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, like a checkpoint. Oh, he's my sword? What? No, no. <laughs> Give me my sword back. Give me my sword back, mofo. Okay. up there. Ah! Okay. Oh, 
this game, wow. This game is so bizarre and it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to look more into it. All right, all right. Okay, so far we have a winner. Maniac Square. Oh, as y'all know, I love me some Tetris and it's a puzzle game. So this is right up my alley. Uh, Maniac Square is a puzzle game for one or more players simultaneously. Pieces made of two blocks drop into a pit. You'll need to create lines of three or more of the same color blocks horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. That is good to know by moving and rotating the pieces. Each stage is a single player game where it requires you to clear a quota of lines before the time expires. While you move the two, while the two player competition mode sees you racing against another to make lines. Well, that's neat history. It came out in 1996, but a prototype version was developed back in 1992. The earlier version was quite a different game. Oh, the fundamentals were similar, but had more special features to figure out. The final version was pared down to fo focus exclusively on beating the clock of your opponent. Okay. Katie says, The meter on the right shows you how you're doing compared to the timer. So long as the green bar is ahead of the red bar, you're all good for now. Whatever that means. Uh, what is it? Just like rotate? Yeah. One button rotate. Let's do it. Queens. Wait for it to load. Point up. Yeah, it's like a player game. Ready? Go. All right, will that other block fall, or is it just gonna? Oh, it will. Sweet. Oh yeah. I am liking that. Yeah, let's see. I guess I gotta beat the level before the timer runs out. Is that what it is? Oh, you can press down. Doing Pressing up does nothing, by the way. Yeah. There we go. Extended play. Nice! Oh yeah, let's go here. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? I am really liking this. This is, it reminds me of Dr. Mario in a totally weird, different way, but I like it a lot. Yes! I don't know why I just did a weird, like, dumb and dumber voice. It didn't make any sense. Okay. This is, wow. I'm having a lot of fun with this. All right, all right, all right. It's not Tetris, but you know what? It doesn't need to be. Okay, I approve of this of being like a different uh, Tetris-y type game. I don't use the word Tetris clone because it's a little thing, but yeah, I like it. Squash. Let's play squash. All right. What does I have to say here? Squash is an adaption of the racket sport of the same name for one or two players simultaneously. Serve the ball between the red lines and the back wall. Then alternate with your opponent, hitting the ball, blah, 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 blah. What does it say? Squash is a sport that hasn't seen many video game adaptions. No! Yokoz is one of the first. That's what I kind of thought with the previous racquetball attempt, like Pong. Yeah, that's what it kind of seemed like. I don't know who else is doing this. All right, what does Katie say? Mix up your hard and soft shots to throw off your opponent's person and score some of his opponents. Okay. Oh, soft swing, hard swing. Uh -huh. Mm. Get past. And usually, you know what? I like just to do a save state once I get past here just to see how long it loads up. Whoa. Like, see? I'm going to show you what you all want to mean. Quick save! And uh, check this out. Zoom! And then it should load up a lot quicker. Like you'll wait. Yeah. So that's what I like to do with my arcade games. Yeah, of course I'm going to use it. What up? Uh. He likes slapping me. Eh. I mean, I like the graphics and the animation and everything. This is going to take some getting used to. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, he got me. Okay. Okay, you know what? I like this. <laughs> yeah, see, this is, I like sports arcade games that I like is that are simple. There's only two buttons, you know, jump and jump out, pick up and play. I love it. Okay. <gasps> Thunder Hoop 2. Yeah. We all know about that. Okay, so 10 years have passed since the first one, blah, blah, blah. And this time he wants a Thunder Hoop DNA for himself, blah, blah, blah. You got to save the day. What's Katie's tip? Pity the poor player to spread. No one knows who he is. I like to call him Thunderhoop. All right. Let's do it. I heard this was a completely like different game. <sighs> Come on. I should have been creating save states as I go. It's all good though. Stage one. Oh, I'm liking this intro. Pretty cool. Wow, that's a... <laughs> Pretty graphic for its time. Jump. Whoa, explode? Wait. Oh, super shot. Okay. I guess you get one of those for life. Go, go, go. And shoot up. You know what? I think I actually like this better than the first one so far. This is really, really fun. This is a great running gun, and it's not, it doesn't appear to be as frustrating. What the heck was that? Whoa! <laughs> I captured Reddit right there. You can shoot diagonally, and I will say the diagonal shot works very good on the VS. These controllers are awesome, I don't care what anyone says. Super shot. <laughs> so this game. Ah! Couldn't live up to my expectation. Look at all these weird enemies! Yeah! This will be such a fun playthrough, I can't wait. Oh man! Okay, this is most excellent. I love this, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's go on to the let's go to the next one here. Oh, we have touch and go. Oh yeah, the volleyball game. Well, well, you know, we'll see if we're two for two for arcade sports. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read that because I don't feel like it. Sports games can often be complex affairs, particularly as computers and consoles have become sophisticated throughout the truly accurate simulation. Touch and go is designed specifically to reduce complexity in its favor, a one button control scheme that anyone can understand easily. Yes, thank you. Make sports games fun. Don't make them realistic. Video games are supposed to be fun, not realistic. Thank you. Okay. What do you have to say, Katie? Like most court sports, Beach Volleyball is about a winning your opponent, mix up your shot types to keep your rivals on the toes. Okay. Oh, they're not kidding. It's just jump. Wow. It's jump, pass, shoot, block. Interesting. We got all of them. Ah, those faces. Version one do do. Throw a bunch of credits. Smash power. Bear jump. I'm liking the graphics and the music and everything. Okay. What do I do? Only one button to jump and shoot. Okay. It kind of like zooms in on you. Huh, that's neat how it kind of does that close up. Jump! Oh, okay.
This would be super fun against another person. Oh, okay, you can see where the ball goes down there. Just move here. Uh huh. Yes! See, that's been my big complaint of other volleyball games. They don't have that flashy thing on the ground of where you're supposed to go. Makes it so you can actually see where you're supposed to go. Because <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I always have trouble of like trying to line that up. And this makes it, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Woohoo! And just having the one button, see, you know, again, less is more. You don't it have to be complicated. Yeah! All right, you know what? I like this better than squash. Okay, favorite volleyball game on the VS so far. I like it. Okay, and <coughs> excuse me, World Rally Two. Um, all right, I, I, I don't know. Probably be more of the same. I bet it's a lot. Looked a lot like World Rally One. History World Rally was a Gelco breakout hit, bringing them a lot of attention and success. With the first game focused on single driver, it was originally intended to be. A licensed game featuring the licensed of a famous rally driver. Oh, okay, the sequel focused more on the broadly on the sport with several different cars available to drive. That's good. What does Katie say? You can oversteer around corners by your car while snap back into position and press the D pad. You can pull off some great power slides this way. I don't know. Some people say, <laughs> sound like Smeagol. I think I sound like a meat wad from Hunger Teen. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Blech. I don't know. Whatever, I'm not, intending, I'm not intending to sound like anybody except just my weird self. All right. Want some coins. Select your car. Hmm. Yeah, I really had to kind of press that. See, this isn't. I wonder yet, yeah, easy. How is this going to adapt using a control pad? Because I kind of had to press that down. Crap. I forgot the controls. Oh, pfft, accelerate. Hey, one button game. Ready! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all I can say is if you like the first one, you'll love this one. If you didn't really like the first one, you won't really like this one. Just, you need a steering wheel. You really need a steering wheel. Give me a steering wheel, throw some more cars in the track, and we're good. Alright, I'm bored already. <laughs> Yeah, I like the sports games better than this. Okay. So we've gone through all that. Now, let me show... Ba -doom! <gasps> okay, okay. I heard the secret game. I haven't seen too much. <gasps> Bang. <laughs> Great game. Bang is a shooting gallery game for one or two players. Play carefully. Attention, instructions, objectives, each stage, blah, blah, blah. What was the history? Bang was Galco's... Last 2D game. Oh no. After this, they moved their development partners to creating a variety of 3D polygonal games. Unrelated note, any resemblance to this game that bears other well known shooting gallery games from the early 90s is purely coincidental for sure. Cody says, Don't be shy about hammering that fire button on stages with infinite the ammo. It's the best way to hit your quarter. And fire. So, I am I bet this was initially a light gun game. I mean, it had to be, right? And then this was just adapted. Which means, I wonder if we get a light gun accessory, you'd be able to use it. That would be pretty cool. Grab some mocha. Throw some credits. Bitman. Beginner course, of course. Oh no. Oh. All right. Get a bullseye. We need a spinner for this game. This is a lot of fun. It does feel a little bit stiff, though. But, you know what? Oh, I think this might be the best. <laughs> this might be the best. Blah. This might be the best, like, uh, bonus game we've had. Okay. Let's see, I couldn't see my thing until I went to shoot. What am I doing? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could just use like my Wii light gun somehow. A Wii remote. 
Wish I could use my Wii Remote and I got the adapter. Whoa. Okay, so you gotta move the cursor. Here's the D-pad, I'm sorry. You gotta move the D-pad initially just to see it on screen. Whoa. This is pretty neat though. A bunch of little different games. Alright, one more, one more thing here. You know what? I think on a bigger TV than my computer screen, this will be a little bit easier because. Yeah. That blue. Poof. And then the cursor disappeared. I can't remember where it was. Yeah, let them come to you. All right, all right, okay. So let's go ahead and um, let me go ahead and we're gonna wrap up with my final thoughts here. So, yeah! Gilco, you've done it again. You've given us seven great games. And yes, I say that because the bonus game here that I've never played before. This card is really, really good. You know what? I, I, I enjoyed all these games, except for World Rally 2, of course. But then again, like I said, if you didn't enjoy the first one too much, but still, plenty of other games, great cart, Blaze, awesome curation. You've knocked it out of the park. And if you like what you saw today, boing! Yes, please like and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. It raises awareness of all the Evercade goodness. Thank you so much for the community, for all the new subs and everything and the support. I appreciate it. We're well on our goal to 1,000 subs. And if we could get a conversation going, let me know. Uh, have you gotten this cart? Or if you haven't, let me know that too. What do you think of it? Did this uh, meet your expectations? Or are we just kind of meh? I'd like to know. Let's get a conversation going! And, um, well, I created content. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!